Hi guys! Today I'm going to be filming my face makeup routine. As you can see, I already did my eyes because I was just having all types of malfunctions. And now I'm going to be doing my face makeup. Um, for our foundation, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation in Suntan. So first I'm just going to go ahead and do about one, two, three, four, five six pumps because the pumps are actually like really little I hate to say it and it's kind of sad because this is really expensive but I'm gonna just dot this all over my face forehead you know what's weird is whenever I'm putting on foundation I have to like pay close attention to the skin right above my eyebrows because a lot of times the foundation won't take to that area so I have to like literally outline it it might look a little bit dark but my tan has faded but I like the shade because it'll help me match the rest of my skin so yeah now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna go to work So after blending, it's looking a little bit patchy over here on this side. And mind you, that was with, what, like six or seven pumps. So I love this foundation. It's been my favorite lately, but that's the one thing that I will say about it. Is you kind of have to use a lot to get the desired look or like to get full coverage. And when a product is so expensive, it's better if you can use less and, like, make it go a long way so you can kind of, like, justify paying that much money for it. But when you got to use a lot and it's expensive, it's kind of like a lose-lose. Well, you're winning because this shit is fucking gorgeous, but it just has two downfalls. Now, once that's all blended, I am going to go in with my concealer. And I'm going to be using LA Girl Pro Conceal. This one is in pure beige. Oh my gosh! That just squirted at me. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and make a triangle. Blends pretty well. I'm gonna then just put right on top of that my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I think it's in custard. I'm honestly not even sure. I'm pretty sure it's custard. Pop that right on top. And this just helps it blend. Then once that is pretty much all blended, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier, you know, y'all know what this is. I ain't even got to really explain it. We're going to bake that. I try not to use too much because um, I do have dry skin and I don't want it to get too dry underneath here. And then I also like, you know, some people bake and leave it on until they're like completely done with their makeup. I usually wipe it off right after I done, I'm done contouring. So next, like I said, contouring, we're going to use another LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in Toast. So we're just going to take toast, put it all right there, right there, and then just kind of pop that hairline in.
Then we're going to take that beauty blender again. We're going to use the back this time and go to work again. All right, and then once that is pretty much blended, I'm going to take another a Sigma uh, ankle contour brush and some L'Oreal True Match powder in Soft Stable. And then we're just going to set that. I'm not going to use a lot, just a very little. And I was always taught by, I don't even know, I think it was either Carly Bible. Yeah, I think Carly Bible taught me that whatever you use, cream contour you have to set with powder because I remember she used to be like the queen of cream contour all right so for brows we're going to use this Anastasia brow Wiz uh, soft brown just brush these bad boys up oh my goodness I hate when it's like all the way up. It scares me. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this fan brush. I actually got this from BH Cosmetics, and it's my little trusty. It's kind of like shedding and stuff, but it still works. So I'm going to take the Becca, what's this, Opal. This is the powder one, although I wish I had gotten the cream one because I actually like it better. Do you see how I'm tilting my head? Like, I'm really trying to get that. There you go, right there. There you go. Right there. You gotta get that high point in the forehead. Should be good enough. I actually really don't like mascara either. I'm like, I don't, do I even like makeup? Like, no. Yes, I love makeup. But um, I haven't been into mascara lately because I have really bad eye allergies and it kind of just irritates even more. Alright, so first I just put some Vaseline on my lips to moisturize. What the heck? And now I'm going to go in with this Jordana brown suede liner, lip liner. As you can see, I just felt it in a bit. Then I'm going to take this Sephora cream lip stain. And I really don't know the color. 33. Don't know what that's called. It just say 33. So. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and take these flexi rods down so you guys can get the full one. Fact. And we're just going to do a little disclaimer right now before this gets too far in. I cut my hair. If you guys have, well, I'm pretty sure none of you guys have seen my old videos. Because, yeah, but I had really long hair and I just cut it. So this is my first time using flexi rods with short hair. And we just going to see how it goes because I honestly don't know what's going to happen. So, if it's ugly, I didn't know because it's the first time. All right, I am back. I completely took down all the flexi rods, and I actually kind of like it.
like it. I do. Even though it's my first time doing it since I cut my hair. It turned out pretty cute, I think. Cute, cute, cute. But I hope you guys enjoyed my video of my little makeup look. I guess it's kind of like an updated look. This is pretty much like how I wear my face every day that I go to work. So I'd say it's like an everyday type of thing, recently anyway. But like I told you guys, um, I recently cut my hair and I plan on doing kind of like a hair journey type of thing. I want to do like a full year with no heat and kind of just update with length and you know, my little hair journey. So, look forward to that. I won't be using any heat on my hair, so you'll probably be seeing this hairstyle a lot. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.